Well, hello, this is 9mm Mike, and uh, there's some interest been expressed in me showing how exactly radioactive some of the old Coleman lantern mantles are. So, what I've got here today on my uh, little table here is here's a modern Coleman lantern mantle here in the package. Standard, you can buy at any store. And here is one circa probably 1971 or so that uh, was found, uh, my mother-in-law found it, she gave me the lantern that went with it. And in that lantern I also removed some uh, destroyed mantles that uh, had been in it when it was in use at the same time frame. That's what's in this bag here. Now what we're going to do is use my survey meter here which is just a uh, surplus CDV 700 and it has a probe that has both shielded and unshielded capabilities. So you can see here the shield in place. If you rotate this like this, now the shield is blocked or the uh, probe is blocked so that you're shielded. So if we take a reading with it on the shield, that will show us gamma radiation. So uh, first let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens. We'll put it on the times one. And if I put that on contact basically, you can see that there is no deflection of the meter whatsoever for gamma. If we move to the circa 1970 or so lantern mantles, you can now see there is a definite deflection of the meter peaking at about 0.15 millirem per hour gamma radiation coming off of that particular mantle. And if we go up here to show you that the ashes that actually came off the old one you can see that they are reading about 0.2 to 0.25, almost 0.3 now, millirem per hour. Now what happens if we unshield the probe? Okay, so now again you can see that the uh, detector element is exposed. Okay, first our control sample. Okay, so as you can see the meter is dropping back to zero with no deflection. Now if we go over to the brand new mantles, well brand new back in 70 whatever, you can see we have pegged out the meter for beta. Now this is fairly high energy beta because it's coming through the plastic which should normally stop most beta. Okay, so now we've switched up to the times 10 scale. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll try to bring it up. But as you can see on contact reading for beta, it is actually reading at times 10, 2 millirem per hour beta through the plastic. Okay, let's see if I can get this up to the speaker so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so we have a pretty significant reading. Now if we do the same thing with Excuse me. Same thing with the ashes. It's an even higher reading because they're more concentrated of about 0.3 or 3, almost 3.5 millirem per hour on the time 10 scale. Okay, now. I'm going to open up this package and show you what happens when it's uh, exposed. Hold on a second. Actually, I probably shouldn't be handling these with my open fingers, but there you go. Okay, so here's a mantle now open. Now you can actually see that these new mantles that haven't been burned yet, so they're not in a concentrated state, are still only reading about 0.2 to 
2.25 which multiplies out to 2.5 millirem. I am not going to dump out the ashes to show you what they read but essentially what we've done is took this and compressed it down into a more compressed format. Okay, so this just goes to show you that those old lantern mantles you have sitting around, if you've had them for a long time, consider replacing them uh, and be very careful when you use them not to inhale any of the dust or anything that comes off of them because it is contaminated with thorium which has about a 12 to 1 beta to gamma ratio as far as uh, giving off radiation and the betas are much more harmful internal than they are external so if you were to inhale the dust it could be very bad for you. Alright, 9mm Mike signing off.